नमस्कार वेलकम टू पी के एस क्लासेस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फिओक्रोमोसाइटोमा सो फिओक्रोमोसाइटोमा यू कैन डिवाइड इट इनटू फोर वर्ड्स फिओ मींस डार्क क्रोमो मींस कलर साइटो मींस सेल ओमा मींस ट्यूमर सो फिओक्रोमा साइटो फिओक्रोमोसाइटोमा इज ए ट्यूमर कंडीशन of adrenal gland so the tumor is in adrenal gland and in particular the adrenal medulla chromaffin cells of adrenal medulla in adrenal gland which results in the dark coloration of the cells so we know the adrenal gland is above the kidney and there is dark coloration of the adrenal gland so this condition is pheochromocytoma and because of the tumor there is too much adrenaline released from the adrenal gland so you can see the adrenal gland the outer portion is adrenal cortex the inner portion is adrenal medulla in the adrenal medulla the chromaffin cells are there which from which the tumors arise and that result in because of the tumors there is excess secretion of adrenaline so adrenaline secretion increases and the adrenaline has a biophysical action the initial rise in blood pressure caused by alpha 1 receptor followed by a prolonged fall in blood pressure due to beta 2 receptor stimulation but the predominant action is alpha 1 so when there is high concentration of adrenaline that results in activation of alpha 1 receptor so predominant action is alpha 1 receptor action which results in blood pressure increase so hypertension so the, if we go to the symptoms of uh, pheochromocytoma then we can say that five p's are there five p's one p for blood pressure pressure hypertension second for palpitation increase in heart rate third for perspiration excess sweating will be there four for pallor and five for abdominal or chest pain pain p for pain and headache pain so five p's are the common symptoms of pheochromocytoma so the potential treatment options for pheochromocytoma are the surgical removal adrenalectomy chemotherapy radiotherapy and target therapies using the uh, monoclonal antibodies immunotherapy so before surgery the blood pressure has to be normalized using alpha blockers beta blockers and both alpha and beta blockers so in all patients we can use the alpha blockers and once the blood pressure is normalized then we can add the beta blockers otherwise what will happen suppose beta blockers are used initially so if we use the beta blockers then if we use the beta blocker then there will be only alpha 1 action and that will result in hypertensive crisis that results in hypertensive crisis if we use the beta blockers so beta blockers should not be used initially so initially you can see 
for preoperative management in case of benign pheochromocytoma start alpha blockers to control the hypertension alpha blockers like phenoxybenzamine phentolamine we can use phenoxybenzamine is a non competitive non selective alpha blocker whereas phentolamine is a competitive select uh, non selective alpha blocker both are non selective phenoxybenzamine is non competitive and phentolamine is competitive phenoxybenzamine can be used in all patients phentolamine can be used in case of hypertension crisis and uh, if there is persistent tachycardia and myocardial ischemia then we can add beta blockers or that uh, beta 1 selective blockers like metoprolactinol or non selective beta blocker like propranolol or we can use the combined alpha plus beta blocker labetalol then we can also give adequate saline fluid replacement and then we can go for the surgery if it has become malignant and it has become metastatic then if it is rapidly progressive then we can use the cvd chemotherapy cvd stands for c for cyclophosphamide v for vincristine d for dacarbazide so these three cytotoxic agents we can use then if it is slowly progressive disease then we can use mibg treatment mibg stands for meta iodobenzyl guanidine where it is combined with uh, the radioisotope of iodine iodine 131 so radiotherapy can be used so this is all about the treatment of chronic cytoma thank you